Hi viewers, welcome to the Nesk YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create bolted cap plate connection in Tecla structures, just like this. Okay, let's start. Open your Tecla structures with US environment. Go to steel and select this column. Now we're going to create column. So click on here to create the column. Right click on mouse interrupt. Now create views. So click on grid, right click on mouse. Create views along grid lines. Click on create. Now click on OK. Now go to the elevation along grid 3. So click on this elevation on grid 3 and click on here and close it. Now we're going to create beam at the top of this column. So click on beam and pick the first point and pick the second point to create the beam. Now click on here and pick the second point to create one more beam at here. Right click on mouse interrupt. Now we need to change the position of this beam. So double click on it. And this beam should be at the top of this column. So at the depth, click on here and select front, then click on modify and close it. Similarly, we need to change this beam position. So double click on it. Click on here and select front, then click on modify and close it. You can see now we should maintain half inch gap between the two beams. So double click on this beam. Scroll it down and in the X direction, you can see it this color pink color indicates the end point. So click on here in the X direction local coordinate. Uh, for example, we require half inch gap. So from center to one side it should be quarter. So enter here quarter inch, then click on modify. It is going to positive direction. So we need to enter here negative minus quarter, then click on modify. You can see now we have the quarter gap. Similarly, we need to change, give the gap for this beam. So double click on it. And for this beam, this indicates the start point. So in the in this direction, we're going to give off quarter, then click on modify. You can see. Now this gap should be half inch. Now we're going to check this gap. So click on edit and measure and select this horizontal distance and click on this option to activate then pick the first point and second point and pick the side to create the dimension you can see now this should be off inch right click on mouse interrupt click on space click on this 3d view you can see now we have columns and beams like this now we need to create the connection between column to these beams so go to application components by using the shortcut control f or you can click on here in the search bar type number 27 now you will get this connection bolted cap plate number 27 component so select this component and pick the this right beam then second select this column and then select this then press the scroll nail button to create the connection between two beams to column just like this and close this window right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse read review okay by default we have the connection just like this now we need to edit this connection according to our requirement so double click on this component go to the path tab here you can change the thickness and width and length of this connection plate for example we record off inch connection plate and width we're going to take 8 inch and length 17 inch then click on modify to see the result at here you can see now the thickness of this plate should be half inch and 8 8 inch width and length is 1 feet 5 inch Okay, now coming to these bolts, click on this bolts tab. 
now we're going to change this board size is the 3 by 4 inch and tolerance is 1 by 16 and coming to here we required in the lengthwise let's take four walls and the spacing three six and three inch in the width wise we're going to take here two bolts and spacing is the four inch then click on modify to see the result you can see these four indicates the lengthwise number of columns for example one two three four and the spacing coming to the spacing so this three inch indicates this distance between the two bolts is, should be three inch and the, this six indicates this bol two bolts distance should be six inches and this three indicates the distance between two these two bolts these bolts must be at the middle of this connection you can see this middle indicates the this connection and this bolt should be at the middle similarly in the width wise use the shortcut control 2 for shaded view you can see now this 4 inch indicates the distance between the two bolts and the number of columns in the width wise should be 2 1 and 2 okay this is one type of connection now coming to the second type of connection go to the parts tab now we're going to change the length of this connection plate let's take 1 feet 10 inch now click on modify you can see now connection plate uh, length increased so now now we're going to increase the number of bolts so click on this bolts tab now we're going to take here number of bolts six and the spacing we're going to take three and off and three inch six inch and three inch and three and off then click on modify to see the result you can see like this so you can see this three and off indicates the distance between the two bolts is three and off and this three indicates the this between these two bolts spacing and six indicates the between these two bolts spacing and three and three and off okay now we're going to give the stiffener at this location so click on this pass tab and give the stiffener thickness one by four and the width let's take two inch three by four and le let's take length four inch and then click on modify if you're not getting this stiffener at here go to the stiffener tab. then you can see if this is the column and this is the connection plate and we need to uh, note it down this number six and three at here let's take three and give the space and enter the six then click on modify to see the result at here you can see now we have the stiffener also at this location use the shortcut control 4 for solid view like this render view you can see now we have the gap between this stiffener and this column so to remove this gap you need to enter here 0 then click on modify you can see now this stiffener place it properly in this connection okay now we're going to give the this chamfer at this location so click on here and select this chamfer and let's take one inch one inch horizontal and vertical chamfer then click on modify to see the result at here like this okay then click on modify apply okay click on space right click on mouse read view you can see just like this okay that's it about how to create bolted cap plate connection in tecla structures if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash danny sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you, you can find out so many tecla structure related videos i hope these videos might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new videos so please click on subscribe okay thank you